It's easy to see why people love cast iron. It can sear meat better than any other cookware, and the seasoning that builds up over time provides a natural nonstick surface. It's also one of the least expensive types of cookware. You can get a quality skillet for around $30. But despite these benefits, cast iron has some significant downsides. In this video, I break down those downsides so you know what to expect and can decide for yourself if it's worth buying. Let's get started. Even though many brands make pre-seasoned cookware, you still need to re-season it occasionally. Seasoning is a relatively simple process, but it can take up to two hours or more if you're applying multiple coats. And if you do it wrong, the cooking surface will get sticky and the seasoning will get clumpy and flake off. Seasoning is necessary because cast iron is prone to rust when it's exposed to water and oxygen. Although the seasoning creates a protective layer that minimizes this issue, cast iron can still rust. I've seen well-seasoned pans rust from just a few drops of water. To avoid rust, never soak cast iron in water for long periods and dry it completely after washing. One of the major limitations of cast iron is that you can't use it to boil water or cook liquid-heavy meals like pasta, beans, or soup. When hot liquid sits in the pan for extended periods, it causes the seasoning to release. To prove this point, I poured this glass of perfectly clean water into a clean cast iron skillet. After boiling it for several minutes and letting it cool, I poured it back into the glass. I spilled some, but as you can see, the water is cloudy and dirty from the seasoning that was released. Similarly, acidic foods like tomato sauce, barbecue sauce, wine, and vinegar can strip away the seasoning and react with the iron. A splash of lemon or vinegar won't hurt, but cooking tomato sauce or braising short ribs in red wine for long periods will remove the seasoning and give your food a metallic taste. Studies show that small amounts of iron get released into food cooked in cast iron pans. These trace amounts of iron are safe for most people, but for certain people, this could pose a problem. If you have hemochromatosis, a medical condition that causes your body to absorb too much iron, or your iron levels are too high for other reasons, you should avoid cast iron cookware. Another problem with cast iron is its weight. Cast iron skillets can weigh between four and 12 pounds depending on the size. The average 12 inch skillet weighs around seven or eight pounds. By comparison, most 12 inch stainless steel pans weigh around three pounds. If you're not comfortable handling a hot eight pound skillet that will weigh even more with food in it, don't buy cast iron. Some cast iron pans have a rough bottom. If you have a glass cooktop, you need to carefully place it down and pick it up to avoid scratching or cracking the glass. Never slide cast iron from side to side on a glass cooktop. Another downside of cast iron is that it heats slowly. Iron is a poor conductor of heat and combined with its thick construction, cast iron cookware takes a while to heat up. To show you how slow it heats, I poured two cups of cold water into a 12 inch cast iron skillet and a 12 inch stainless steel pan and turn the heat to high. The water in the stainless steel pan started boiling after two minutes and 55 seconds, and the water in the cast iron pan started boiling after three minutes and 34 seconds. Cast iron not only heats slower than materials like fully clad stainless steel, aluminum, and copper, but it also heats less evenly. As it's heating up, the middle of the pan closest to the heat will be significantly hotter than the sides. If the skillet is too big for the burner, food in the middle will cook faster than the edges, as you can see with these chicken cutlets. One of the major benefits of cast iron is that it retains heat well, but the downside is it doesn't respond quickly to temperature changes. Let's say you're browning chicken cutlets and notice the breading is getting too brown before the chicken cooks enough. You can turn down the heat, but it will take a minute for the temperature to decrease. Cast iron doesn't respond as fast as thinner, more conductive pans. Because of the seasoning, cast iron tends to absorb the flavor of the food you cook. So fish and other pungent ingredients can linger in the skillet and impact the next meal if you don't clean it thoroughly. Speaking of cleaning, cast iron pans cannot be put in the dishwasher. The detergent and hot water can strip the seasoning and cause the pan to rust. The best way to clean cast iron is to wipe it with a paper towel while it's still slightly warm, then rinse it with warm water. If there's still stuck on food, gently remove it with a chainmail scrubber. Since the body of the skillet and the handle are all one piece, the handle gets extremely hot. Once a cast iron skillet is fully preheated, don't touch the handle without an oven mitt or a towel. Most cast iron pans do not come with a lid, so if you want to contain the heat or cook a meal that requires moisture retention, you need to buy a lid separately or use another pan. Despite these downsides, I truly believe that every home cook should have a cast iron skillet in their kitchen. Because it heats up gradually and maintains a consistent temperature over long periods, it's ideal for roasting, baking, and frying, and it's the ultimate cookware for searing steaks, burgers, and any other meat. 
If you're ready to try cast iron, I'll link to my favorite brands in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links, so I'll earn a commission if you click and buy, but at no extra cost to you. If this was helpful, check out this video where I explain the easiest and most effective way to season cast iron. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.